Um, so the first ones, um, you guys did well with this. They're, these should be automatic. Slope is three, parallel is three, the perpendicular is one, and negative one third. Um, uh, one is negative x over five, that's negative one fifth. Perpendicular would be five. This is, you get y by itself and you get negative two thirds and slope is three halves, okay? If this stuff is giving you grief, that's a red flag that that's, you know, making sure you're staying with us on what's going on. We read that several times and getting y by itself shouldn't be a big deal. Two, number two, now these things start to get a little bit more of a challenge. We go ahead and uh, just go y equals mx plus b or use your slope intercept or use your point slope, I mean and find out that you get 5x minus 3, okay? This one perpendicular, so that slope is 1 fourth, so now I'm going to use negative 4, okay? Then I just go ahead and crank it out. The most common mistake was right here. People didn't write the first step. They just went right to the second step and made a mistake. They had the plus 8 instead of minus. So make sure you write that first step and carry it through. C, perpendicular. This slope is negative one half. The slope perpendicular is two. I'm going to circle that, and then I just used my slope intercept form and got two x minus twelve. Three. Just find your slopes. Okay. And notice the the notation that I use is really quite nice. Slope of AC. Then it's obvious what slope I'm finding. Slope of BD. Negative one seventh. So they're opposite reciprocals. Yes, they are perpendicular. On this one. I've got three sides of a triangle, so I found AB, slope of AB was negative two, slope of BC was four thirds, but there's another side, slope of AC is one half, so yes, they are opposite reciprocals. So yes, it's a right triangle. Looking at the next five, um, same slope, opposite reciprocals, no special relationship. Six, um, Six, you guys did fine with these. Um, C, I, f I find it very, very, I find myself very happy that some of these things weren't related, okay? Like mine, ice cream eaten and grade. Imagine if those things were directly related, okay? Hey, got to study tonight. Rocky Road, chocolate chip, okay? What'd you do to get ready? I had two gallons. Of ice cream. What'd you have? I had three. Oh no. You know. <laughs> there was another one where it was like um, foot length and intelligence that somebody put on these. Okay. Can you imagine if that was that was uh, those are related? He's smart. smart. You know. Holy cow. You know. Oh, don't ask him. He's got little feet. You know, stuff like that. I'm glad that some of those things aren't related. Um, okay, so this one, mine, uh, is a lot of yours were more steep, so yours were more like around negative 8. But I just checked to see your two points, and did you find your slope correctly? Okay, and you should be able to tell that your y-intercept is in the ballpark as well. On the next one here, all right here, same thing, points, draw your line, pick two points, and then find the equation. So, on this one, you can really check to see your y-intercept. My y-intercept here appears to be about 23, 24, and my graph and my uh, equation corresponds to that. Yeah, there's little little checks that you can make, okay? Hey, those should be about the same. And so what I did was I checked your work thoroughly to make sure your equation looked right, and on D, I took your equation and made sure that if you plug in 33 into your equation, you got your result, okay? Um, these down here, um, I changed the 2002 to zero. I think it's more user friendly that way. Um, then your y-intercept is more meaning. So I had 68.16x plus 197.98. This would be the price in 2000. If you just put in 2002, 2003, 2004, then your y-intercept is going to have no meaning. That would be the price at the start of time, which is probably going to be really negative going back at this rate. So then you're going to plug in, in this case, 9, or in your case, maybe 
2009, you should get 811.42. And I said maybe. I, I could see that being possible if the price of gold kept going up. I don't even know what it's at right now. 10, um, kind of the same, same deal here. To get an 86, so how many weeks would you have to have? Uh, uh, practice get an 86. I'd set it equal to 86, and then I would just go ahead and solve that. You don't plug in 86. You don't know how many practices until you get an 86. On the back, what? These three. These three. Um, I did not grade these. Um, I didn't even honestly, in an interest of time, I didn't even look at them. But th this one was so tight, I gave it like almost a one. Because it, it's going to range anywhere from one, if it's a really tight positive fit, to negative one, if it's a really tight negative fit. <clears throat> Zero has no fit. And as you go, go away from one, they get looser and looser and looser fit. So like this one, that's a pretty loose fit. I even said 0.7. It could be like 0.5. You never know. This one is downhill. And it's, it's fairly linear, so I gave it a, a negative 0.9. Okay. Um, bonus A, uh, uh, that would be 7 eighths or 0.875. Some of you folks did better than I did. I made a silly mistake. Took 50 plus 6 and got 59. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, B, um, it, it was all over the board. I had probably nine or ten different people chosen. Um, most commonly chosen was Mrs. Learman. Uh, right behind was, um, was Selk. Um, myself, Mrs. Nelson. Um, there was a couple Lundquists in there. Um, Mr. Dennis got, got quite a few votes. Um, but, you know, it's interesting to see, um, you know, why you guys... Uh, why do you guys like certain teachers? For me, I, I said, right now, Mr. Anderson, what he's doing is really impressing me. Um, you know, he's going into basketball practice in the morning and still has football going on, so I'm, I'm very impressed by that. Okay, so thanks for reminding me to do that. For those that are not here today, let me write down the assignment. It is page 301. We had 12 through 34 even. Um, 35, 36, you guys that are here, is, is it going well? Yeah, okay. Hopefully you can see why I just blasted through these three sections because it's really pretty straightforward, but um, it allows us to double check some things with you. 39 through 41, 44 and 45. That is for Tuesday. Okay.